circumstances. And it is therefore a statement of the obvious that the option of a second referendum must be on the table. And it is on the table. A stark message from north of the border. A second vote on independence is highly likely after the rest of the UK voted to pull it out of the EU against its will. Scots voting emphatically to remain in the EU on Thursday with a margin of 62% to 38. That put it sharply at odds with the UK as a whole. Certainly there is a huge divide and I think what this vote has shown is that uh, perhaps the regions have been neglected and the, the concerns that they had have been neglected and this great move towards London, which of course is one of the biggest global cities in, in the world, um, has perhaps alienated the rest and, and there's a huge gap there to fill. Nicola Sturgeon had already hinted she'd back a second independence referendum. Now that just got much more likely. As things stand, Scotland faces the prospect of being taken out of the EU against our will. I regard that as democratically unacceptable. The Scottish First Minister says she thinks it's inconceivable Westminster will stand in the way of a second vote. But with or without its consent, Sturgeon is treading carefully. In 2014, the nationalist campaign founded on its economic policies. Sturgeon stopping short of setting a date on Friday. She may wait to see whether polls really show a big shift towards support for independence. If they do, the UK as we know it may not be around for much longer.